Are you getting slow data transfer speeds when you are uploading or downloading something from NAS? You need to watch this video. We got a question from Ali. Uh, what's going on with, with her situation? She used to have J-Series NAS and it uh, was so slow that she decided to upgrade to DS920, which is a flagship model and supposed to be so fast as uh, all reviews uh, tell you. But the thing is, she's getting 20 to 30 megabytes a second. So what is going on? By what Samoji is promising themselves is that uh, the speeds you're supposed to be getting should be around 90 megabytes a second. So if we go to performance page and uh, look for Windows based um, data uh, tests, the performance test, then you will see that um, it is somewhere around um, 93 megabytes download, 69 megabytes upload. That's 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 a Windows file transfer of one megabyte. Uh, 3,000 times, that's what the test was running like. And um, and encrypted mode, when they were having this data, doing data transfers through the um, shared folder, which is encrypted, speeds were like slower, 87 megabytes, 48 up. But um, they are using, um, you need to be aware that you always need to look for a bottleneck really in your system. So they're using the i7, I think, um, uh, laptop to test with. They are using um, SSDs in their NAS. They are having probably really short distance um, cable from NAS to a testing rig to the laptop and they're having like a decent switch and, and all, all these things really add up. They, they do add up. You need to make sure as well, how do you connect? Are you connecting uh, via Ethernet or are you connecting over Wi-Fi? If it's Wi-Fi, then very likely you're still running on Wi-Fi 5. You supposed to, if you want to increase the speeds, then you should consider upgrading to Wi-Fi 6 uh, because promised theoretical speeds on with Wi-Fi 6 would be around uh, 1 gigabit in perfect sort of in the same room situation but um, um, preferably you really want to have um, the Ethernet cable really running from your NAS to your um, uh, to, to your uh, computer to experience the really the best transfer speeds and also, yes, it makes make sure that your laptop has not um, you perform check your uh, logs and, and check your resource monitor monitor on your Windows and um, and make sure that uh, CPU is not really maxed out, RAM is not maxed out, that, you, that there is enough power for, on your computer to actually deliver the best speeds because the LAN, LAN port on your laptop it, it still communicates with your uh, processor and, and it uses all this internal hardware just to prepare these packets of data and, and then send it away to the switch and then to be received on 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 the on the root uh, on the nas and also make sure that uh, nas is doing not doing anything like heavy like uh, surveillance or uh, transcoding or uh, any sort of heavy lifting so you make sure that it's like um, free of resources so that packets can be sent and received as, as quick as possible um, you can read more but if you if you've got a situation about uh, that that you're sending things over wi-fi then i would expect some speeds around 30 megabytes, 40, 40 megabytes. As what Snowgy is telling you that um, it should be around uh, 13 megabytes a second, but that's not true. <laughs> if you've got uh, 100 megabit switch somewhere in the middle of all your network infrastructure, yeah, this is something you would uh, experience. Or if you if you send some odd files, really small some sort of like metadata files, then you might experience those slow speeds. But when you're streaming some like movies or uh, sending some ISO files, some large files, you should be getting really better speeds. Um, so you can read an article about a mesh system. If you, if 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 it's your Wi-Fi, but you go to home and um, and you, you might be at the other side of the home, and the speeds are slower there. And, and, and once you go closer to your router or main uh, uh, NAS system, then the speeds increase. Then this indicated that there's something going on with your wireless. So do recommend a read the um, mesh system so you can add. Um, mesh points to your existing router or replace your router your network system entirely with Synology mesh um, um, routers and, and access points or consider actually upgrading to Wi-Fi 6 this is this is something that is what's going to take place now anyway sooner or later all broadband um, suppliers or ISPs are going to change their routers to Wi-Fi 6 with probably 2.5 gigabit ports on it and the change is happening already slowly so you can read this article about um, Wi-Fi 6, best of 2019, there will be a new article coming out, but uh, this is still up to date, more or less. Um, you can read about that. Um, you can also read more specifically about Asus RT, which I think is a really great um, router. 
which uh, is Wi-Fi 6 compatible. You uh, can read about it on this article. It's, this is a really comprehensive article. It, on, and if you want something even more sophisticated, then there's a Nighthawk router, M, uh, MK63, with like mesh system is all available. So it's main router, you can add some points across your home so you get like smooth experience wherever you go, whichever room you go, garden or living room or whatever. And um, yeah, you can read about this here as well. If you've got any other questions, you can always use the uh, question section, leave your question. Um, so then we're gonna see if the, if the question is popular, we're gonna make a video answer about this. And um, you can also uh, send the email directly if you want, or um, just put a comment at the bottom of this video and um, we're gonna reply to you or make a new video about it. Okay, so I hope this helps and um, have a good and cheerio.